This video is best viewed on a full screen at 1080p quality. Click the gear at the lower right corner of the video window. Next, click the quality option. And finally, select 1080p. I'm projecting all of the images in a dimly lit room rather than a dark room. For this I'm using two shaded lamps placed about 12 feet diagonally from the center of the screen and each lamp has a small 15 watt chandelier bulb in it. The ambient light in the room measures 4 lumen at the center of the screen. So the two most important factors in your home theater are obviously the projector and the screen and that's why I want to quickly mention the type of screen I'm projecting onto. In this case, it's a spandex projector screen instead of the more typical blackout material. There are several advantages to this type of screen, uh, one of which it can attach to a $30 backdrop stand. Uh, it's easy to do. You just take some five spring clips and you attach the screen to the backdrop stand. And this can be used outdoors in your backyard or take it with you camping or to a party. And the screen I have here is made in the USA by Stretch Screen USA. It's available on Amazon for around $80, which is actually less than a do-it-yourself uh, fixed-frame type screen. Uh, you don't have to buy wood, corner brackets, staples, and actually build the frame as you do with that type of frame. The other advantage uh, is that you don't need a permanent empty wall space. For example, the situation I have here is a little awkward to put up a fixed-frame screen because I have a staircase in the way. But with the spandex projector screen, that's not a problem. It literally only takes 30 seconds to put up this screen. Right here, we're all halfway done already. It just simply attaches to five small hooks that are uh, in the ceiling, and you can barely see them. And the corner brackets, the, the bottom corners, attach with a bungee to something as simple as a water jug or whatever you want to uh, use for that. And there you have it. The screen is completely up. So here you can see the spandex projector screen produces a really good image, but that's only half the story. Check this out. If we pick up our camera and walk around behind the screen, you can see that the spandex projector screen can also act as a backlight screen. That's like getting two screens in one. No other type of projector screen can do this. Now, buyer beware, you may be tempted to go with a cheaper knockoff version from China, but go with the one made in the USA. It's Amazon's choice, even at a higher price, and it has 147 reviews so far, where the cheap one only has three reviews, which can easily be faked. So here's the Amazon product page of the spandex projector screen that I have, and they have images along the left. As you can see, the, it's a much cleaner design instead of sewn crooked and all that. And the fabric is a much higher quality. It's a tighter weave, which will give you better colors and a sharper image. And here is a real-world example of that. I have the two screens hung side by side with the Made in the USA one on the left and the Chinese knockoff version on the right. And you can really see the difference in the color quality, the brightness, the saturation. And if you look at this next image here, you can actually see how much detail you lose in the smoke due to the uh, looser weave of the cheaper fabric. Here's the product page one more time, and I put a link in the description to make it easy for you. All right, let's get going. Compare our projectors. Here you can see the size comparison between the AXA P700 Pro Portable Projector with a brightness of 650 lumen and a 1280 by 800 resolution, and the AXA P4X Pico Projector with a rating of 175 lumen and a lower 854 by 480 resolution. Our first comparison here will be a simple white image to compare the brightness. As you can see, the P700 Pro is much brighter than the P4X. Let's zoom in to compare the pixels. And here we have some basic color squares. The AXA P4X has some ghosting around the edges and the colors are a little bit darker. And this is the actual lumen measurement of each color. This was done in a completely dark room as opposed to a dimly lit room. You may want to pause on this slide to check out the values and let's zoom in to compare the color pixels here we have a basic color gradient and the AXA P700 Pro colors are more saturated and brighter than the P4X here's a more advanced color gradient and nice color profile from both projectors with the P700 Pro being brighter 
Here we have some colored smoke on a white background and the P700 Pro, the higher resolution produces sharper details. And let's zoom in to compare that more closely. Here's the same smoke but on a black background and the P700 Pro produces better highlight details. And when we zoom in on that we can see the clear difference. Here we have some lines of shadows and highlights. The P700 Pro has better shadow details. And let's zoom in to compare the resolution. To compare those shadow details, we'll use this image. The P700 Pro has better shadow details, brighter overall. And zooming in, we can see it's crisper as well. Here we'll look at the highlights. And the P700 Pro is brighter with sharper edges. The P4X has some pixelation. Here we'll look at some shadows again. And the P700 Pro has smoother shadow details. And let's zoom in and we can see that here. Here we'll look at highlights and shadows. The P4X, the highlights have more contrast. And next we'll test the resolution with some grids. The P700 Pro, the higher res resolution, reproduces the grid pattern more accurately. And zooming in, we can see that here. Here's another grid pattern. And the AXA P4X enlarges and crops the edges of the image. And zooming in, we can see the difference. Here we have some black grids on a white background. The P700 Pro, the higher resolution, reproduces the grid pattern more accurately. Zooming in, we can see it's sharper as well. Here's the white grids on a black background, and the P4X, the lower resolution, reproduces inaccurate grid patterns. When we zoom in, we can see that here. Next, we'll compare the text quality. Uh, the P700 Pro, the higher resolution, produces more legible text. And we'll zoom in on this one to compare that. Here, we'll compare the skin tones. And the AXA P4X produces pixelated faces. And zooming in, we can see that clearly here. Here's a few more faces for skin tone comparison. The P700 Pro produces better skin tones and sharper details. Zooming in. Next, we'll do a color comparison. And the AXA P700 Pro produces a better overall image, brighter and zooming in better details. Here's a similar image for color comparison. The P700 Pro is brighter with better details. And here we have a lower contrast image. The P700 Pro is brighter with more detail. And here we'll do a color comparison. The P4X has some pixelated edges like some over sharpening artifacts. Here we'll look at the sky, and the P700 Pro has better shadow details. You can see the clouds more. And zooming in, we can see it's a much sharper image. Here's a high contrast image with some lights in the background. The AXA P4X has some pixelation around some of the edges. And let's zoom in to compare that more closely. Here we'll look at the contrast with this image. The P700 Pro has more contrast making the image look nicer, and zooming in, we can see the details are sharper. Here's a dimly lit scene, and the P700 Pro has better shadows and sharper details. And let's zoom in on the pyramid to see that clearly here. Here's a sunset scene for comparison. The P700 Pro produces a brighter and sharper image. And a bridge illuminated at night. The P4X once again has some pixelated edges. And let's zoom in on the details to see that more clearly. Here's a good night shot. And as we can see, the P700 Pro, the higher resolution, produces sharper details. And let's zoom in on the fence to see that clearly here. Here's a green train with some good shadows and highlights. The P700 Pro is brighter and sharper. And when we zoom in on this one, we can clearly see the difference. Here's an illuminated balloon. And the P4X, the lower resolution, produces some pixelated lines once again. And some fireworks for fine line detail. The P700 Pro uh, produces better fine line details. And our final image, a night shot with some stars. The P700 Pro, the higher resolution, maintains better fine line details. And let's zoom in to compare the stars.
In a moment, we're going to compare the AXA P700 Pro Portable Projector with the full-size name brand BenQ W1070. You'll learn in some of my other reviews that the name brand 2000 lumen projectors are actually many times brighter than the so-called 2000 lumen budget projectors that sell on Amazon for under $150. Here's a quick brightness comparison between the sub $100 DB Power T20 budget projector with a claimed rating of 1800 lumen and the name brand BenQ projector rated at 2000 lumen. From this picture, it's clear that the claims of cheap knockoffs are not always true. I think you'd agree the BenQ projector on the right is much more than 10% brighter than the budget projector on the left. The same holds true for the quality of your projector screen. Here's a quick comparison between a cheap $30 spandex projector screen made in China on the right and an $80 spandex projector screen made in the USA on the left. As you can see, it's worth spending a bit more for the higher quality image you'll get. With that being said, you will remember from the beginning of this video I showed you that I was projecting these images onto a white spandex projector screen. However, if you want to use your projector in a room that's not totally dark, or if you want to use it outside, like in your backyard for an outdoor movie, or take a camping, or to a party or something, there are two things you may want to consider, a brighter projector and the darker silver spandex projector screen. Even though the silver screen looks quite a bit darker than the white screen, it'll actually give you a nice bright image with more contrast, which is especially useful when you can't get an environment that's completely dark, such as being outside with a full moon or if there's streetlights nearby. Now the other benefit of the darker silver spandex screen is that you won't have to wash it as often if you accidentally drop it on the ground because you won't notice dirt as much on the darker fabric. But keep in mind, if the spandex screen does get dirty, you can just throw it in the washer using cool water and then dry it for 10 to 15 minutes in the dryer and it's good as new. That's not as easy with some other types of projector screens. And finally, you'll remember when I showed you the rear projection ability of the white spandex projector screen, well, the silver screen has that same ability. Okay, let's continue with our BenQ comparison. Here you can see the size comparison between the AXA P700 Pro Portable Projector with a brightness of 650 lumen and a 1280 by 800 resolution and the full-size name brand BenQ W1070 Projector with a brightness of 2000 lumen and a higher 1920 by 1080 resolution. Our first comparison here will be a simple white image to compare the brightness. As you can see, the BenQ is slightly brighter than the AXA P700 Pro. And next we'll zoom in to compare the pixels. And here you can see we get nice colors and brightness from both projectors. This next slide you might want to pause on. This is the actual lumen measurement of each color. This was done in a completely dark room as opposed to a dimly lit room like all our other slides were shot in. And next, let's zoom in to compare the color pixels. Here's a basic color gradient. And as you can see, we get nice results from both projectors. And here is a more advanced color gradient. And here you'll notice that you get uh, brighter colors in the bottom of the screen near the shadow areas from the brighter BenQ projector. And let's take a look at some colored smoke on the white background. The AXA P700 Pro has a bit more contrast, but zooming in we can see the BenQ has better details. And reversing that, we have colored smoke on a black background, and we get a nice looking image from both projectors. But when we zoom in, we can see the higher resolution BenQ produces better fine details. And next we'll look at some shadow and highlight bars. You can see the BenQ is brighter overall, especially in the darker shadow areas. And zooming in, we also see the BenQ has smaller pixels and a little bit sharper text. And then this next image, we can see those much brighter shadow details from the higher lumen BenQ projector. And next we'll compare highlights. Nice image from both projectors with the AXA having a bit more contrast than the BenQ. And here we will compare shadows one more time. You can see the 2000 lumen BenQ produces a brighter overall image with better shadow details. And zooming in, we can see that more closely here. This is a good photo to compare shadows and highlights in one single image. As you can see, the BenQ has much better shadow details, but the highlights look more natural as well without as much contrast as the AXA P700 Pro. 
Next, we'll compare the resolution with some grid patterns, and as you can see, the lower resolution AXA P700 Pro holds up fairly well against the higher resolution BenQ projector. And let's zoom in on that one to compare that more closely. Here's another grid pattern for comparison. Fairly similar results from both projectors and zooming in. And here we see similar results from a black grid on a white background. And zooming in, we can see similar results here as well. Reversing that, some white grids on a black background. And once again, the lower resolution AXA holds up fairly well against the BenQ. And zooming in, we can see a good comparison here. Here we'll compare the text and nice results from both projectors. Zooming in, you can see both are legible. And here we'll look at some skin tones, nice skin tones from both projectors. Zooming in, we can see the higher resolution BenQ produces smoother looking faces. And here we have a few more faces for comparison. And let's zoom in on this one, and we see once again the higher resolution BenQ has smoother looking features. Next we have a color comparison with the AXA projector having a bit more contrast. And zooming in, we can see the BenQ has a little bit better detail. Here's a similar image for color comparison, and once again we get good colors from both projectors. And here in our foggy image, once again we can see the AXA projector has a bit more contrast. Here you can see the brightness advantage of the BenQ, especially in the background, and note the difference in the uh, tone of the yellow color. And this image here, you can see how much brighter the sky is from the BenQ projector. And zooming in, we can see the BenQ has uh, better details, too, due to its higher resolution. Here's a good high contrast image. Both projectors look great, with the BenQ being brighter. And let's zoom in to see the details. And here you can see the contrast of the BenQ projector is a bit better. And zooming in, we can see the details are a little bit sharper as well. In this dimly lit scene, we see the AXA projector has a bit more saturation, but the BenQ has much better shadow details. And let's zoom in on the pyramid to compare the sharpness. And a good looking sunset from both projectors. The AXA has a bit more color saturation, and the BenQ projector is brighter overall. And here we have our illuminated bridge. You'll notice a color difference, the AXA having a bit more red and the BenQ a bit more yellow color. And zooming in, we can see the BenQ produces sharper details. And in this night shot, you can see how much brighter the BenQ projector is. And zooming in, you can see a bit more detail in the fence area there. And in our green train image, you can see the BenQ projector has much better shadow details. And zooming in, you can see it's a crisper image as well. Our illuminated balloon here, both projectors produce a very good looking image with the BenQ being brighter once again. And for the fireworks, we can see great colors from both projectors with the BenQ's higher resolution producing a bit better fine line details. And in our final image, you really see how much brighter the BenQ projector is. And zooming in on this one, you can see the details are a bit crisper as well. So my final advice is as follows. If you're always going to be using your projector in a totally dark room, then the brightness isn't as important as the resolution. It'd be better to get a dimmer projector with a higher resolution. So if your viewing environment isn't totally dark, such as a room with windows and you don't have blackout curtains during the day, or you're outside where there may be street lights or a glowing moon, then you'll want to go with a brighter projector. But remember that cheap projectors are almost never as bright as they claim to be. And as far as resolution goes, I would typically pick a less bright projector with a higher resolution over a brighter projector with a lower resolution. You can always try to make your room darker, but you'll never be able to increase the resolution of your projector. I personally would never get a projector with a resolution below 720p, which is a resolution of 1280 pixels across by 720 pixels high. The reason for this is that you'll most likely be enlarging the video to about 9 feet across, and at that size you can actually see the individual pixels on lower resolution projectors. I think a 1080p projector is about the highest resolution you'd need, as a 4K projector doesn't really add all that much to the picture quality for the much higher price you'd be paying. 
Here's a screenshot from a YouTube video that compares a 4K projector versus a 180p projector. It's being projected onto a wall, but even so, there's really not much difference between the quality. As far as sound goes, I would recommend an external speaker of some sort, as most projectors that I've come across under $500 do not have great sound quality. But I will say I was fairly impressed with the sound I got from the soda can sized Nebula capsule. You'll also want to consider if you'd like a portable projector that can run on batteries as opposed to a projector that has to be plugged into the wall. The portability of the smaller projectors is always nice, but keep in mind that the battery life is almost always under two hours, but it is not limited to running on the battery only. You can always plug it in for unlimited run time. As far as portable projectors go, I really like the AXA brand. The P300, P700, and M5 projectors have a fairly high resolution, nice colors, and good brightness. The Nebula capsule also produces a decent image with a really good speaker, but it does have a lower resolution than the three AXA projectors. Alright everybody, thanks for your time. I hope you found this video informative, and if you think others would find it helpful, please click the thumbs up button, which makes it easier for them to find it. And also don't forget to click on the links for the Spandex projector screens below in the description, and check back for more projector comparison videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.